A new professional sports team has chosen Round Rock as its home for inaugural season. The Austin Elite Rugby team made the announcement today at a news conference. They're one of seven teams in Major League rub Rugby, which will hold its inaugural season this year. The team will play their home games at the Round Rock Multipurpose Complex. Round Rock is hosting five national championship tournaments over the next month. The city is starting to draw a wide array of sporting events after opening two new venues in recent years. KXAN's Lauren Kravitz shows us how Round Rock is doing so far in its quest to become the sports capital of Texas. Anton Jackson has been playing for the Austin, Texas Warriors for seven years. This year, his team is running for first. And uh, two years ago, we were ranked second place. So. This year that we're hosting it, we would really like to win the championship. At least that's our goal. 36 teams are competing in the USA Deaf Basketball National Tournament in Round Rock. It's wonderful because it's something that we look forward to every year, and it's wonderful to have our deaf friends come together and we have some time to socialize with each other and compete for a championship. In addition to deaf basketball, four other tournaments are headed to Round Rock. Two more of them will be held here at the Sports Center. College table tennis and judo, Quidditch, and women's collegiate lacrosse will be held at the Round Rock Multipurpose Complex, a new venue that opened just last year and is already luring in national talent. They want to play at top-notch facilities, and that's what you're, we have here is a top-notch facility. So I do think it plays a major part into it. The city hosted 55 tournaments and events in 2016, bringing in 95,000 participants. More people means more spending, and that's easing the property tax burden for locals. All the sales tax we bring in for a year after the end of the year, half of that goes to reduce property taxes. Something homeowners can count on in the future, as some tournaments already look to return to the sports capital of Texas. Lauren Kravitz, KXAN News. And cities like Round Rock can make a lot of money hosting big amateur sporting events. A study by the National Association of Sports Commissions estimated that people attending those kinds of events spend more than $9 billion in 2015. A lot of that money is from people who come in from out of town. The study found nearly 35 million people traveled to amateur sporting events that required an overnight stay. And families tend to follow athletes to these big events, bringing an economic boost to host cities. Yeah.